Most people in America expect that they have the right to choose their food in America and pay for it with their discretionary dollars however they earn it without having the sanctity of food abused, meaning that the safety and sanitation of food has not been harmed. And openly last night I purchased food at a restaurant because I needed the chicken, I needed the nutrition, I needed something to help take away my headaches. And openly since my ibuprofen pills have been constantly tainted by someone, I decided to choose food instead. Now, most people would bake some ramen at home and that would handle that situation with chicken broth. But since I don't have a home in which to do that, I can't do that. Ordinarily, I am fixing and preparing my own food, but the truth is tonight I made an exception. When I went into the restaurant, everything seemed copacetic. I went through the line, I purchased my food, and I left. I ate a little bit about a block away, and then I found myself needing to lay down, completely falling asleep. That is not typical to me or so it shouldn't be. When I was in the restaurant, a perturbed white man who was likely the security guard over at Target was in the restaurant and wanted to insist that I receive his gift of food. To not make a fuss in line, I received the bag. But what I didn't like about his approach was his decision that he had the right to have the power over me to choose food for me that I didn't plan to eat and at the same time that after he gifted that to me and God said just receive it and get it over with that he took his hand and he pushed it at my chest you take care of you sort of thing which in this community and in this neighborhood is a physical threat to your life I know in waking and I know in the measuring of my beard that my beard is shorter again today I also know that when I woke up from the situation there was a girly flowery fuzzy blanket next to me on the ground of which I did not say okay to, and I did not say permission to, and I did not give consent to receiving. I do not receive white blankets. I don't need any blankets. I have plenty for me and my upcoming nuptials and family. But at this time, what I'm saying to people is we have to be careful that the Mexicans and their network is abusive, is not only been proven true by me as a reporter in this campus and in this community, but is absolutely true. That we have Mexicans derelict in their duties is something I see every day, but that we have Mexican men who want to prove their prowess and prove their power by fucking our food and ruining our life and stealing our property is something I've experienced almost every day since I've been here.